I'm Amos, the Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also, a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see it right on the left-hand side. You just hit subscribe. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. And you can get it for one year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Uh, now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. And when you get over there and you get Basil's newsletter, what you're also going to get is approximately 10 to 11 archives. Great education. Huge education. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I hope you had a good uh, fourth. Yes, and I hope you did too. It was great. Yes, St. Pete yeah. had beautiful fireworks. We were, and I know Boston always does, that's for sure. Thank you. Yes, totally. that's for sure. Fun weekend. Fun it weekend. Was. No doubt. It was. So, what are we looking so, at? Yeah, this is very interesting. We're looking at the Dow, um, and the Dow has come back from a very sharp earlier decline. What I really want you to focus on was the QQQ, which is the NDX 100. Okay. Um, over the last few days, I've been studying this very carefully because we've had positions um, in the QQQ actually the three times long, uh, TQQQ a couple of times, as well as uh, one of the indices, uh, an ETF, which is uh, which has most of the beaten down stocks. Uh, so I made a decision um, when it was the last night. I said, you know what, tomorrow morning, I, let me study the charts, but if there's, a, there's some kind of a sell-off, I think the QQQ, from everything I'm looking at, the, the uh, Index 100, Invesco QQQ Trust Series, it looks as if from the candle, the doji candle on Thursday, and then a nice green candle and basically an inside day on uh, Friday. Oh, have I not got my charts up? That was silly. Let me just do this, if you don't mind. I'll do it as we're speaking. Screen. There we go. Screen. Click. There it is. Okay. So um, I, th I think you can see the charts. They should be coming up any minute. And what we're looking at is that one of the techniques I use is I draw trend lines. And if they're two narrow little trend lines, like a little mini channel, yes. I'm not sure if you've got that, uh, that becomes either a support, I call it Chapman Wave, inside track support level or propellant range or a repellent. And every time we've got into this particular uh, set of lines, declining trend line it's been a repellent but the nine period moving average the pink line on the left side the daily chart is starting to improve and it's got this w formation that has the potential to cross positive if it does that it needs very much to challenge and then take out this downtrend line little green line at about 289 let's call it 290 and here we are at 285 up 3.60 and that's going to be very important because It'll be the first time that it's decisively taken out this trend line. That's really important. And the MACD is improving. Stochastics lagging. The on-balance volume has just now turned up. So this is very early in this particular stage. Now, the question I had recently was, uh, have I seen uh, buy signals possibly go to buy modes and then a failure pattern that didn't correct it itself and continued as a buy mode? So that would be the case here in the QQQ if – Today's Tuesday. If by Thursday we're actually trading at 292 to 293, then there's a really good chance that we've turned the corner here and finally the QQQs can have a decent bounce. So we're fortunate in the position that we have today. Uh, so far, we're up over 3% and the general market is down. And then there was another one. I thought I'd mention this because you've got the Tiger, the end of the Tiger dollar sale. And I thought, well, I'll just show the type of work that I do. So there's a stock that I've followed periodically over the years. And then over the uh, last week, actually, it came up as uh, something that has the potential to make a cup formation, one of the patterns I always look at. But no matter how I counted it, uh, on the left side was a peak B, but inside it had a peak A, B, C, and even went to a D. It was a really nice candle, and this is Sun Opta Inc. It's plant, fruit-based uh, foods, beverages, organic ingredient sourcing, non-GMO food products, and packaging. It had it had once gone from the single digits from about one 
all the way to 17 back in February of 2021. And then it just, every month, it just went to lower highs and lower lows. But this is the first time, and I said to subscribers, it seems to me this fits in the category of people who say to themselves, hey, this is something I, I want to be able to afford. This is something I, I have. I've made a, a determination that this is in my a food category or whatever it is that that pertains to their ecological look at, at things and i thought it, it could survive any uh, a very big appreciation in the as we've been looking at in inflation and this one says if this is a product that you use maybe you'll keep using it so we were fortunate we got a dip today we wanted it under 818 we got it at 817 and here it is at 8.74, it's about 6.5% up. And this goes into the category for my subscribers that I have called screamers. These are single-digit stocks that we look at and we try to get them either on a dip or a gap up and then raise the stop as it goes up. And, and there's a possibility even that we don't treat it as just a real quick winner, but something that we can hold. And this actually fits into the category. If you see the weekly chart, it's trying to test the 901, $9.01 cent high of October of 2021, beautiful cup formation, MACD's good, stochastic good. So this is a, a stock that has the potential to go even higher, but uh, we wanted it to treat it first as a screamer and certainly up uh, for us about 6%, 7% now uh, is very important. And that's that's kind of what we're looking at. So nice. within the, the portfolios that I try to give for my <clears throat> subscribers to my opening call, we can have triple digit stocks, we can have things all over the range. But like today, I said, we'll, We'll buy a triple long that was on the queues, and we will buy this one, a very low-priced one at, at $8. And uh, that's the kind of mix I like to have for subscribers. And, folks, it's, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. You just come over to our website, at TFNN, and you're going to go uh, bottom line under newsletters. You'll see the opening call right on the left-hand side. You hit that button, and you are off to the races. And I believe we still have the Tiger Dollar sales up, but it will be down today. So <laughs> if you want to get some Tiger Dollars and uh, save some bread, uh, this is the way to do it right here. It's going to be intriguing watching this whole deal shake out uh, with this dollar, Basil. You know, I mean. Yeah, oh, the, yeah, the dollar, uh, as you know, we've been long since 2018 at 90. This dollar, the break, this is like 17, 18 years high. Yeah. Um, right. but, it is, but it is, I've called it a leg D in the daily, leg D in the weekly, only a leg C in the monthly, and that implies mm -hmm. it should still go higher over the period of 2022. Well, let's get, we'll get all those euros together, folks. If the dollar's at 121, where I think it's going, you're going to get euros at 87. We all can go to the Amafi Coast or wherever else you want for a oh. very nice vacation for not a lot of bread, oh, man. that would be fantastic, <laughs> right. Actually, uh, it's a great thing. You know, when I go to visit, I haven't been for a long time, but I'm originally from South Africa. When I go back, yes. all my friends that go back, it's like a, a 1 to 13, the ratio, 1 to 15. It's, I mean, you can have a fantastic meal. The Randall, for, yeah, exactly. Like $30 with the best wine or whatever, yeah. Wild. Yeah. Okay, man. Well, listen, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow, Basil. Thank you very much, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now uh, trading down 190. NASDAQ's up 160. S&P's are just about flat. Come right back. Mm -hmm.